because when you go to college in the morning, come in the evening, the left out hours that you have in your hand have to be managed in such a way that you do not get out of time when you want to complete your important work. It's a saying that data structures and algorithms, if you start studying, it never ends. Try everything, taste everything which you have out there in your platter and then decide what you like. Hi, I'm Kabir Singh and today we are going to talk about 5 things I wish I knew before college. So we all join college, we have different degrees that we do and uh, you know, talking about BTEC, the degree that I did. We have 4 years, we have 4 years which we spend in our college and we learn a lot of new things over there. But I wish that these 5 things that I'm going to tell you right now were told to me before I came to college so that I would have been a little prepared. I know that I have to deal with these things and how I have to go through it. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to talk about is time management. When you join college from your first year, you have a lot of things to manage. Okay, so the first thing that you have to manage is your college. You have a specific time, you have to go in the morning, come in the evening. After that, you have practicals, you have assignments, you have some other work in college, you have projects, you have hackathons, you have club work, etc, etc. So I wish people would have told me that how to manage this time. And with all this time management, there are points that we are going to discuss in the further video which have to be included in this time management situation because when you enter your first year, if you start preparing for your placements from the first year itself and have a good time management, you will easily be able to come up and crack a good placement out there. So time management is a very important scenario which we have to look forward to when you're joining college because when you go to college in the morning, come in the evening, the left out hours that you have in your hand have to be managed in such a way that you do not get out of time when you want to complete your important work. So prioritizing your tasks, coming up with a very productive day and a very productive week is a very important thing which we have to take care about. Now coming to the second thing, we have DSA data structures and algorithms. So when you talk about data structures and algorithms, this was something I was totally unknown about. I never knew what data structures and algorithms are because I was not into coding when I joined computer science engineering. So when I came out and I got to know about DSA, it was really scary and I had to start from scratch. So data structures and algorithms is a very important thing in your placement journey when you come to a computer science engineering college or you pursue a degree in computer science or you wish to come into the IT field as a software developer or any random domain out there. So when I started DSA, it was really, really scary and data structures and algorithms is a very huge topic. It's a saying that data structures and algorithms, if you start studying, it never ends. So that's why if you are aware about this before coming to college, you can at least complete your basics. Okay, so you can choose one language out there and you can complete your basics because that will be a very helpful thing in your DSA journey because you don't have to waste time in your basics once you get into college. Coming to the third point, we have a very important factor which is coding. So coding is a thing which is really interesting but it only and only becomes interesting once you start doing it. Until and unless you make good programs, you write good code or you make good projects, developing good applications or web applications, etc. You won't be able to enjoy the taste of coding because that is something which only comes with experience. So start coding before college itself if you can, because it is one of the five things I wish I knew before I entered college so that I would have started my C++ basics when I joined college. So the time when you give your boards till the time you enter your college, you have a lot of months out there, you have a lot of days out there which you can use, you can utilize to complete your coding. How do you start coding? How do you come up and uh, finish it before college is that choose one language, whichever it can be. It can be Python, Java, C++ and usme se ek language ko choose karne ke baad, you have to complete the fundamentals of that. As I chose C++, I have C++ ka pura basics complete kiya. After that, I could jump into DSA. So your time management, DSA, coding are all interconnected because if you join your college already done 
with your coding already done with your basics of any random language out there then you can directly start your dsa and when you're managing your time you do not have to take time out of your day for your basics you can directly put in your time into the dsa preparation and if you're starting your dsa from the first year itself it's a very very good thing because you will have a lot of time to practice questions because coding in a specific language and dsa run hand in hand and we have to complete both of them very properly so that we can completely be prepared for our placements once we reach our final year hi there before we proceed further coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat and if you participate in this test you can achieve up to 100% scholarship in any course at coding ninjas may it be dsa web development product companies interview preparation data science or any other course so click on the link in the description below or the pin comment and participate in this test happy learning guys coming to the fourth point we have placement preparation this was something i was again untold about and ye mujhe bilkul nahi pata tha तो हाउ डिड आई प्रिपेयर फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स मैंने कैसे शुरू किया इट वॉज ऑल इन माई सेकेंड ईयर बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट अवेयर अबाउट इट बिफोर कॉलेज सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन आई गिव यू द एंटायर रोड मैप नाइट नाउ एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट ऑल कैन यू फिनिश बिफोर कॉलेज एंड वॉट ऑल यू कैन डू इन योर कॉलेज सो द प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन इंक्लूड्स कोडिंग डी एस ए एंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट सो एवरी पॉइंट दैट आई स्पीक इन दिस वीडियो हैज अ इंटर लिंक विद द प्रीवियस पॉइंट दैट वी कम अपू सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट योर प्लेसमेंट प्रिपेरेशन यू हैव टू कंप्लीट योर बेसिक्स एंड वंस यू कंप्लीट योर बेसिक्स यू हैव टू कंप्लीट योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम्स एंड वंस यू कंप्लीट योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम्स यू हैव टू मैनेज योर टाइम इन सच अ वे दैट यू कैन कम अप बाई सॉल्विंग मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिसिंग मोर एंड मोर विद योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर फॉर योर प्लेसमेंट प्लेसमेंट प्रिपेरेशन इफ स्टार्टेड लेट is little scary and a little tiring because you get a little over stressed if you are starting late because you have a handful amount of days in your hand in which you have to complete a lot of topics so if you complete your fundamentals of c++ java or any language that you wish to before college you can finally come up to doing your data structures and algorithms from the first year itself and if you're doing that then coming up to your final year you will be completely prepared by doing a lot of questions on different different platforms like lead code code chef etc and then you will be able to crack a good companies you can crack a good interviews out there and you'll be pretty confident about your placements coming to the last point is accessories that are required in college again something i never knew in college because um, i was not into computer science so if you are looking forward to being a normal competitive programmer or a person who just codes in c++ java something like that i think getting a nominal laptop would be a good thing for you but the mistake that i made getting a nominal lenovo laptop and coming up and trying out flutter app development was a little hefty task for me because when i wanted to code flutter in that laptop it was not possible for me because it did not have that configuration and then i had to shift to a gaming laptop to complete my necessities so that's why you have to complete your coding before college by coding i mean just the basics and try a few application development languages or web development languages or try web development something like that so that you're sure about what you want to do so that you can get the perfect accessories that is a good laptop which is always needed for your college when you're doing computer science engineering so that is what comes to an end and you have to be very sure that you spend your money in the right way because if you want to do something like app development you need a good amount of ram in your laptop so please 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 be aware of what you want to do try everything taste everything which you have out there in your platter and then decide what you like because after that is the main time management that comes in play and you will be able to get into a good company after that so time management dsa coding in a specific language placement preparation and a good amount of accessories would be the five things you wish you knew before college and now you can easily come up and go to your college well prepared thank you so much for watching this video hi there we hope you liked our video and found it useful we would also like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in the test you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course in coding ninjas may it be dsa web development product companies interview preparation data science or any other course so click in the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test happy learning guys thank you so much